Hi everyone, happy Friday. It's Teresa with Critters Crochet and I'm so happy you're here with me today. Um, it is a beautiful Friday here in West Tennessee. The sun's shining. It's a lovely day and I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about uh, my day yesterday and uh, some things that I've received in the mail. Um, just some fun stuff today. I had the best time yesterday at the county fair. Um, our homemakers club uh, was in charge of the country store yesterday all day at the county fair. So I was there from nine in the morning till six o'clock and we had the best time. Um, what we do for our country store is uh, as our as a club, we all have baked goods and then we can bring in like yard sales type type stuff to sell. And we have a table that's just all of the yard sale kind of items. Um, and then uh, people are there on Thursday showing, the kids are showing their cattle, their goats, uh, they're showing their pigs, their hogs. And so there's a lot of people there on Thursday for that event. And they're there all day. So we bring, we make, um, like I made, uh, I made some sausage and biscuits. Uh, some of the ladies made muffins. Just any kind of little quick on the go that you can hold in your hand and eat breakfast items. And casseroles. Um, at lunchtime, we do, most of the time we do sandwiches and different casseroles. And a lot of people will come in and they'll buy a full 9 by 13 casserole and take it home and that's their supper for the evening. Um, so we sell a lot. We we make all of those things up and we sell those. And then all the money that's made at the country store is ours for our club. And um, we have other fundraisers and things that we do throughout the year too. We have a, um, we have what's called our big, our huge big one is in November and it's called um, Homemaker's Holiday. And we set up and we do our crafts, whether it's crochet, sewing, whatever, we make up a bunch of different items. And we also, um, anything handmade, um, we bring those in. And then we also do more casseroles because people love buying these casseroles for quick meals. And we set up and we, um, we sell our handmade items at uh, at Homemaker Holiday in November, and a lot of it is um, quick crochet items, things like quick handmade items that we can sell that people will use for Christmas giving, for gifts, or just for use for themselves. Um, and that is our biggest fundraiser. So whenever we do things like that, all the money that we get from those, we... Um, we have several different nonprofit organizations in our county and we give, we donate. We use that money to donate to those um, organizations to help them out. So it's awesome and I love it. And so we had the best time um, when we're there at the fair. Uh, I love doing it because we, I get fellowship again with the ladies that are in our group. We have so much fun. Uh, and then interacting with all the people. And most of the time at the fair, or the different events like that, that's when I get to see people that I don't normally see on a regular basis. And so it's fun to reconnect with people. Um, and just, I love it. It's great. It's a great time. And everybody's just having fun. So it, it was great. And I'm so excited because um, my, I don't know if you guys saw, I put up a post, maybe you saw it, but I got lots of ribbons on my crochet so excited and so on monday um we get to pick up all our things and bring them back home on sunday so for monday's video i'm going to show you all of my items that i took to the fair and the ribbons that they got um i did have a i did have a couple of things that didn't receive ribbons which is okay uh but i will show you the ones that did and what ribbons they got and what's really exciting is i had two items uh, that I made. Uh, one was a baby crib blanket and the other one was a dish towel, a hanging dish towel. Both of those got state qualified ribbons. So those two items, not this year, but will go on to next year for the state fair 
competition. So I was really excited about that. Um, so it's a lot of fun. So I'll be showing those items to you on Monday to share with you and share the ribbons that I got. Excuse me. But I got some things in the mail. I am so sorry. I have, I don't even feel sleepy. Where that yawn came from? <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, I saw this book. I love, I don't know if you guys are on thrift books. Have you ever bought from thriftbooks.com? I love thrift books. And you get, um, when you purchase a book, each book, you get so many reward points in your account. And then after so many points, you can get free, you can earn a free book. Well, I just love it. And I've got a wish list in thrift books uh, going and um, of all kinds of books that I want. But I saw this one and I had to get it. It's vintage crochet, crochet shawls. And I love making shawls. I'm making a shawl right now for a friend of mine. She just ordered one. And, uh, but I wish the, the only thing about the book is I wish the pictures were in color. This is the only colored picture of the whole book. The rest of the shawls are in black and white, but I'll show them to you anyway, um, just so you can get an idea. I can't wait to make some of these, or maybe even all of them, but we'll see. There are, uh, let me think. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight different shawls in this book. So here's this one. What's it called? Uh, Princess Diana Vintage Crochet Shawl. Uh, let's see. That one's cute. I can't tell what the stitch is, though. But it's pretty. It looks like it has a lot of texture and detail. This is the vintage piece. It's a one skein. And I've got that crochet shawl in a balls. I may make use one of them to make this. But it's called the Vintage Peach one skein crochet triangle shawl it's hard to see because they're black and white um then we have this one oh whoop that's the same one uh the vintage lace popcorn shawl i hope you guys can see that on my end it's kind of looking blurry but i hope y'all can see that okay uh, the next one is the Madeline's Vintage Shawl. That's pretty. Here's a better picture of it, the whole thing. That's really pretty. Um, the Pineapple at, oh, that's my favorite. I love Especially when I make doilies, I love the pineapple stitch. I think it's gorgeous. Um, this is the pineapple lace shawl. I just love the pineapple design. I just think it's so pretty. I'm in the future when I'm <laughs> caught up. <laughs> if that'll ever happen, I would love to design maybe a either a, a top or maybe a skirt with a pineapple stitch on it. Uh, the Vintage Lace Shawl. And let's see, what's the next one? Ooh, that's a that's got a lot of pages to it. The Vintage Scallops Shawl. I like that you can wear it, like, off the... Well, okay, hold on. <laughs> there it goes. Vintage Scallop Shawl. That's pretty. And I think that was the last one. Oh, nope. I think this is the last one. Yep. And then we have the perfectly Paris poncho. <gasps> so that's that. So that's cute. I, I can't wait to... I really like this one on the front. Um, I think that's the... Which one is that? Let me look through here. And, oh, it might be this one. Yeah, it's that vintage piece. Vintage peach one skein shawl. So I've got a shawl in the ball, a shawl in the ball there, and I'm going to use it and try to make one of those. That is pretty. But this is the vintage crochet shawl, lovely patterns for vintage shawls. And um, let's see, does it say in here? I didn't even look. I 
I don't think it even says. It does not say anywhere in this book, it does not give the name of the author. Isn't that something? I didn't realize that till I was just looking. Um, and I really am not sure how much I paid for this book. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was under $10, but I just, I don't remember exactly. It just says the author and publisher. Huh. Anyway, but I can't wait to make some of these. And this is on thriftbook.com. You might be able to even find it on Amazon. I don't know. But yeah, I love this book. And then, and I'm, guys, I apologize ahead of time. I'm going to, in the future, get much better at this. But on the 12th, I ordered furls.com, furls, the company furls. I love their hooks. I have several. But they were running a, a sale where you used the, uh, they had a code, WHIMS1, and you could get their WHIMS Merino. I got pink, and they're, uh, they're on sale right now for 12 or. I think they were normally $12 a skein, and they've got them now for $7 a skein. But if a week ago, if you use the, it doesn't work anymore, but a week ago, if you use the code WHIMS1, you got these for a dollar a piece. Now, there's only 120 yards in each one of these. I would not pay $7 for 120 yards of four weight yarn. I just, I think that's too much for. 120 yards, just 120 yards. Um, so, but when you can get them for a dollar a piece, yes, please. <laughs> so, um, and I needed some pink yarn, so this was great timing. Uh, this is, like I said, this is a four medium weight yarn. Um, it's 50% uh, fine superwash merino wool, 50% nylon, 120 yards, 109 meters, and 10 grams. It recommends using a five and a half to six and a half millimeter crochet hook. Um, and it doesn't say, huh, doesn't, doesn't, usually they give a size for knitting, so I guess it's, that's the size for both. Um, but anywho, you, it's machine washable, but you don't dry it. You lay it flat to dry. And it's the Z Twist Crocheter's Yarn. So Whims Merino from Furls. Super soft. Uh, it's a Z-twist. It's a, kind of on the thin side of a four weight, I think. This could probably be even closer to a three to me. But anyway, I got 12 of these suckers. <laughs> so I am, I'm still, I, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it, y'all. A dollar, a skein, come on. So. What what is what is twelve times seventy? Eighty four dollars. Eighty four dollars worth of yarn that I got for twelve dollars. Yeah, yeah, I will do that. And I think I told you guys about these, but I've been using them uh, from We Crochet the dots um, crochet hooks. It's a set of nine. Goes from two millimeter up to six. And. I have been using the snot out of these, and I love them. Love, love, love. So I'm thinking about, I'm not sure when, maybe next Friday, because um, that'll give me time to get things together and do this and get it get it all recorded and edited and everything. But I think, I think now, because I've got several of these, um, I've got the furl, I've got, I've got these, I've got furls, hooks, omi, hooks from Amazon, um, and I've got the O-Fire hooks, O-P-H-I-R-E. I'm thinking about doing a, a yarn review, so if you'd like to see that yarn review, or hook yarn review, hook is what I have in my hand right now. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I think it in my head, and somewhere between my brain and my mouth, mm -mm, it doesn't come out, but anywho. I'm thinking about doing, taking the, the those hooks that I mentioned and doing a hook review and showing them to you because I love all the hooks, but certain hook, hooks work better for certain yarns. So I'm thinking about doing a video to show that. So if you'd like to see that video, you can let me know in the comments. Um, 
But yeah, so today is a day to get organized. I am putting a couple of crochet project bags together, um, getting things cleaned up in the house, and then I'm packing because this afternoon I am heading to Mississippi to my oldest daughter's family. I am going to spend the weekend with them. Y'all, I got to get out of the house. <laughs> I've been doing that with the fair and it's been great, but I miss my oldest grandson. I haven't seen him. It seems like him forever. And he is, um, he has started, they've started their homeschooling. He's a first grader. This should start in first grade and going good. But my daughter called yesterday and they are starting to tell time, learn how to tell time. Now he can look at the clock. And he knows what time it is on the hour and on the half hour, which I think is awesome. He's already got that down. But um, Megan started showing my oldest. She started showing him how to do minutes. Like if the if if it's pointing to the one, that's a five. That's five minutes. And he got confused on that real bad. He said, "Mommy, that's a one, not a five. And she called me. She was worried to death that she was going to, she said, I need your help. Um, cause you know, I'm a retired teacher. I, I taught first grade. I've taught first, second and third grade. And she said, mom, I need your help. I don't want to confuse him. And I don't know how to do this without confusing him. And I said, Grammy has got this under control. <laughs> so what we used to do when we were teaching time for the first time for to kids, our big round clocks in our classroom, we would turn them into a flower and the, the, the clock was the center of the flower. And then we cut out little circles, different colored circles and put them around each of the numbers, the 12 circles. And we wrote five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, all the way to 60. And it's a visual. And I, I really think that my grandson is going to be a visual learner. He, yeah, he's visual. He wants to see it. And so that's what I told Megan. I said, he, um, <coughs> I said, he will see, okay, there's a five by the one and that's five minutes. That's not changing the one to a five. That just means it's five. It equals five minutes. Cause he understands equal. He understands two plus two equals four. And he understands that two, that equal sign means this side is the same as this side. So he, I think he's going to look at that and say that one equals five. He's going to get that. And because it's a visual. So Grammy's coming to the rescue. I'm going to make him a clock to help him tell time, a little flower clock to help him tell time. And yeah, so hopefully that's going to help him with his, and I'm going to work with him this afternoon on telling time. I'm so excited. I just, I told my daughter, I said, if he ever, if you guys lived here, I would, I'd homeschool him every day because I miss it. Um, I miss teaching. Um, there's some parts of it that I don't miss. <laughs> I will be perfectly honest, but just the interaction with the kids uh, and the teachers that I taught with, that's what I miss that. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to help him with telling time. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to get off here um, and uh, get things packed, get that clock made for him, um, and get that ready. But guys, we're getting there. Let's do an update real quick on the channel. Because remember, remember in my other video, I told you guys every, uh, I've got something in the giveaway that's going towards the 1000 subscribers. So I've got something already in there at every 50 intervals. I'm going to put something else in the giveaway. So we're at 818. It was 812 the last time I checked. So we're at 818 subscribers right now. And let's check the hours. Woo! It's up from yesterday. We are at 2,800 and almost 20, 2,819.8. So I'm going to round that up to 20. So 2,820, that means we are, 
let me math in my head here, um, 100 and, what is that? 170? Is that right? 180. Yeah. One, <laughs> I'm telling y'all. <laughs> 180. Yo, that's awesome. We 180 hours. That's it. To the 3,000. That's the minimum, the small little monetizing we can do. So that means we are 180. So 1,180 from the 4,000 hours that I need. So 1,000 or 180 from the little one. And then we are, what was the other? We are at 818. So that means um, 82, 182 away from 1,000 subscribers. Y'all, I cannot even. That blows my mind that we are at 182 people away from 1,000 subscribers. That is, that's blowing my mind. That's unreal. So, and that is all because of you guys. All because of you. Um, thank you for supporting this channel. Thank you for sharing this channel with your friends and telling them all about Critters Crochet. Um, thank you to the ones who are involved in my crochet along that we're doing for the scrap gan and sharing that out um those of you who have tagged me in videos and told about um projects and things i'm so excited uh shannon from the spoonie stitcher uh she's put a challenge out there that she is working on she does these she does the cutest little uh designed she calls them tots and she makes these little crochet tots and designs different characters with those tots. And they are absolutely adorable. Um, she's got a new idea for a tot and she put it out on her video. I will tag the video below so you can watch it um, and see what her challenge is. She's putting a challenge out there uh, for her subscribers and anyone who watches her video um, to help me get to a thousand subscribers if we get to if this channel if our channel gets to a thousand subscribers be, subscribers can't talk today before October 1st then she's got a little surprise that she's doing and I'll link that video in the comments so you can watch hers if you haven't subscribed to Shannon's channel the Spoonie Stitcher I encourage you to she's got a great channel she's a sweetheart and I just love her content and so I will link that video in the description box so you can see what that challenge is that she's doing. Um, so anyway, I love you guys. Uh, it's going almost 25 minutes. I can't believe I've been on this long. Um, but anyway, I thank you and I thank you for your continued support. And guys, slow and steady wins the race. It's okay. We are getting there. We are getting this channel up to monetization. And I am so excited. I can't hardly stand it. So uh, since I will be in, South, in Mississippi this weekend, uh, I won't have another video until Monday. I'm going to enjoy my time with my daughter and son-in-law and my grandson. And um, so I will see you in Monday's video. Let me know what you think about the uh, hook review and um i will talk to you guys again on monday i hope you have an amazing weekend i love you lots and i'll see you later bye